So the fine folks over at AC Infinity sent me some stuff to upgrade my grow tent, just my airflow setup. So here, let's unbox a couple of them, take a look at what they sent, and then see what my plans might be uh, for some of this stuff. So if you guys aren't familiar, I run a grow tent setup here in the basement. I've definitely outgrown it at this point. Um, and I have some plans to get a lot of the stuff moved out into the garage, but I think I still kind of want to keep some rigs down here in a grow tent, have them close to where I do a lot of my work. And, um, I think some of this stuff is going to help me out with that. And then also potentially help me out with some of the plans I have for the garage space. So let's see what we got up first here, man, it's gigantic. So, uh, man, this is nice. So the first thing they sent me, they sent me two of these. These are silencers for the fans that I have. So I have eight inch fans exhausting air from my grow tent over there. Um, and I record down here too, right? This is where I do all my videos. I use heavy noise suppression. So you guys don't hear all of the mining rigs and fans and all that stuff going on. So I figured it'd be cool to test one of these out. So this is a silencer from AC Infinity. And then looking inside, it's got like sound muffling. You guys can probably see in there. Kind of like what you would use in a recording studio uh, or something else to really muffle the sound coming through. So I'm gonna try these out. I'm gonna hook up uh, one side of the ductwork on this side and then the other on this side. And I guess it's supposed to really help out with the fan noise. So uh, we're gonna put that to the test for sure. So I got two of these. That I know. I kind of forget what's in this other box, so I'm going to open it up with you. Build quality on that, by the way, is really nice. Actually, really impressed. Let's take a look at this one. Let's see what we got going on in here. So I know I asked for a couple of things, but I can't remember what they had in stock, what they didn't. It's just, it's been a while. Uh, these have been sitting down here. I just haven't been able to get to them. Life's kind of gotten away a little bit. So let's see what we got in this box. See what's gonna help me out down here. All right, so got a couple clamps, right? You see there, it's just for the duct work, bunch of those. That's gonna be great, especially when I got these silencers now. I'm gonna need those. Um, and then let's see what we got in here. This is a eight inch fan to replace my Vivo Sun one. So I did ask for that. I remember that uh, because the AC Infinity fan, nothing is Vivo Sun, but the AC Infinity fans are just way nicer, way slimmer uh, than the other ones. And then this thing I'm really excited about, get this box out of here. Now I remember some of the things I did ask for. All right, all right, box. So this is a wall fan system. And I'll tell you what I'm thinking for it. Yeah, oh, it's, it's smaller than I thought it was gonna be. But we'll see. So let me get this out of here. I'll tell you what I'm thinking. Okay, man, their stuff is, I'm not even just saying that because they're sponsored now, but their stuff is really quality. I'm sure a lot of you that do grow tent setups or any type of fan or exhaust systems wind up using AC Infinity at some point. So. What this is built for, as you guys can take a look there, what this is built for is like a crawl space or something like that where you need to get uh, air either in or out of that space. And in this case, I want to do in because my setup here is that my basement window, which is like a standard basement window, I leave it open. So just passively from the exhaust of the grow tent, a lot of the air is pulled in from that basement window into the grow tent and then eventually exhausted out of the house. But the window's pretty far. It's probably like 25 feet away from the grow tent. I don't have any ducting or anything going to it. So what I thought I might do is put this there in that window. And what it'll do is pull additional air from outside into this basement. This is made for an intake is the one that I asked for. So I think... Yeah, this side will go on the inside of the basement and this will be on the outside and it will just pull air through this into the basement. Maybe give me a little bit of a boost of cool air, at least this time of year. One thing I am concerned about is uh, a filter system. There's no filters for this. 
I'm gonna have to figure that out because I don't want to be pulling in like bugs and pollen and all that stuff now that I'm in the springtime. But I am really curious to try this out for sure. So a couple things that I get to do. I get to get this fan in there. So this is the eight inch fan, which I'll show you guys in case you haven't seen them before. I think I did a video when I replaced the last one. I had a Vivo Sun. Again, nothing against them, but I had one die on me that was going strong for quite a long time. And I decided to buy one of the AC Infinity ones, see what I thought about it. I liked it so much um, that I wound up getting in touch with them and seeing what else they might be interested in partnering with me on. And here we go. So I get to replace the other Vivo Sun one with this really nice, and they're just so slim. That's one of my favorite things about them, especially here in the basement. I don't have a lot of clearance with the kind of shorter ceilings, but there it is, eight inch Vivo, uh, eight inch AC Infinity fan. So I'm gonna be replacing the Vivo Sun with this. And um, yeah, let's get some of this stuff set up. You guys have probably seen that before. There's the grow tent and uh, got a bunch of GPUs in there. I'll link to some other videos on that up in the card. But for today, this is the Vivo Sun fan I wanna replace. And you can see I have the other AC Infinity right there. So I'm gonna do two. And then I have those silencers. So I'm gonna figure out where I wanna put those. Cause as you can see, I'm running ductwork up and above. I'm not sure if they're supposed to go probably after the exhaust. So maybe I'll put them in there. Uh, but first things first, I'm gonna get that fan replaced. Let's do that right now. New fan is in, you can see eight inch AC Infinity fan right there. And then I put in one of the silencers over here. I didn't do the other one yet because I have to move the fan a little bit. And yeah, I just didn't, I just didn't feel like it to be honest, but looks really good. I honestly reduces the sound a little bit, but it's so loud down here from all these server cases and everything else mining that for mining application, probably not worth it in my opinion. That's what I think, at least in my case. So let's take a look inside the tent. Get this open here. So here's that new fan with the silencer, ton of suction coming up, getting all that hot air out of here. Feels really good there too. And you can see, if you haven't seen it before, those are my intakes, one there, one there, bringing the cold air in. And we're gonna go through that in a second. Let me get this closed back up so we can take a look at the temperatures in a, in a minute. See how they're doing. And I just kind of been leaving the bottom of the tent open too recently to get some more cool air and that seems to be working well. Let's take a look over here. This is kind of like a work in progress. So that's the basement window that I typically leave open. And I put that AC Infinity, like crawl space, basement ventilation fan in there. So this is pulling air in. It's, it's, it feels good. I had the fans on all the way. I'm just not sure if this is gonna be worth it because it blocks so much of the window and I had a lot of air coming in just naturally from the exhaust fans in that grow tent would just pull air from all the way over here. I thought this would boost it a little bit. I'm gonna let it run for a while and see and make a call on it. My gut feeling right now is it's probably not worth it and I'll have to find some other way to use this uh, and instead leave that window open just like it was before. Let's take a look at some temperatures. Make our way over here. So you can see basement temperature back in this corner, 83 degrees Fahrenheit. Let's take a look at the temperatures in the tent. Mess down here, I know, jeez. So let's take a look at temperatures in the tent. It's the AC Infinity controller, 106 degrees Fahrenheit in there right now. Both those fans are running full blast, those eight inch. And outside right now, currently 55 degrees. Give you a sense of what I'm working with. All right, let's uh, switch over cameras and we're gonna take a look at some of these temperatures. Taking a look at my Hive OS. I, I, not every rig is in there, but we're gonna look at some of the rigs in the grow tent right now. Please take into account my basement temperatures at 83 degrees because there's so many rigs out in the open, but I still wanted to check it out. So let's start out with Wolf. That's in there. These are 3060 Ti and 3070 full hash rate cards. 
Uh, this card is just th th this card is a failure of a card, so don't worry about that one. But everything else is looking pretty good. 50s, low 60s, even this one, 49 degrees uh, Celsius there. So what else we got? I know Bear is in there. That's all 30, 70 full hash rates. Looking pretty good here. These two are, are kind of hot. This Zotac actually has a dead fan, so I'm all right with that. And the NVIDIA Founders Editions are running a little toasty, which it's kind of like normal uh, in my experience with those, but otherwise looking really good. So that's what, 24 GPUs in there. What else is in there? I got Fox in there, but it's mining Ergo, so those run really cool anyway. Uh, let's see, what else, what else? Rabbit, those are some uh, 5700s and 6700 XTs. Looking really good there. This card is having issues. I got to work on that one. You guys are getting a sense of all the work ahead of me. Uh, but these are looking really good. Temperatures on those cards from memory always run really, really hot. So I'm really happy with where those are at. Anything else in there that I have in here? That's not in there. I think that might be it. That's everything that's in there that I have over in Hive OS. So that's an update on some work on the Grow Tent. Big thanks to AC Infinity for sending some of that stuff over. If you guys need anything, I really truly believe that their fans are the best exhaust fans of the ones that I've tested. And like I said, I bought one with my own money, liked it so much that I did reach out to them for some kind of par uh, partnership. But all the opinions and stuff are my own. I really don't think the silencer is worth it. In my case, maybe it is in yours. Um, I still, the jury's still out on that. Um, fan, the intake fan that I'm using for the basement. We'll see. I'm going to let that run for a little while. But as far as exhaust fans and all of that, definitely can't go wrong if you're doing a grow tent setup, especially looking ahead to spring and summer coming shortly. I have links for all this stuff down in the description below. If you get it from AC Infinity, I get a kickback. You get a discount. Win-win for everybody. So <laughs> check those out if you can. Uh, otherwise, hope you enjoyed this video. Hit the like button if you did. Sub to the channel for more GPU mining content. Join my Discord if you want to chat. Link is in the description below. Instagram, Twitter links are in the description below. As always, please take care of yourself, take care of each other, and I'll see you in the next video.